Okay, this, this is compound L, assuming only monochlorination takes place, ignoring the relative rates of abstraction of different types of hydrogen, which of the following statements is incorrect. Okay, so let's look at the first part. They say the maximum number of chlorinated products formed is 8. So I'm just going to say this. Um, I can kick out this H and put in a Br. Uh, Cl, sorry, Cl. Or I can kick out this H and put in a Cl. Or I can kick out this H and put in a Cl. All right. Um, or I can even, okay, for this, this, uh, this, this one over here, I can kick out this H or and put in a Cl. Or I put, kick out this H and put in a Cl. They actually mean the same. Because it's, uh, this molecule is like symmetrical. All right, so you must be able to see that. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say this. I'm going to substitute a H with a C over here. Or it could be 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 here. Here. Or here. All right. So these will give you the different uh, number uh, of types of chlorinated products. So let's count. One, one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this statement is actually correct. Okay, the next one, C20H38 is present in small quantities. So when they say small quantities means it's actually found in trace amount. And if it's found in trace amount, it's only found in the termination step. Okay, so in a, I'll say this, in the propagation step, we know that C10H20 will react with, um, oh sorry, uh, chlorine, chlorine radical. Okay, Cl dot, and you form C10H20, and this will be a radical. Right, you form radical plus uh, HCl. So in the termination step, termination step, right? In the termination step, you'll realize that two of this can actually combine to form a product. Okay, oh sorry. Um, we have kicked out a H really. So this must be H19. Right, this H19. So uh, two of it will combine, right, to form the product, right, a side product. So it'll be something like C20. H38, right? So which means uh, this statement is correct. Okay, homolytic fission occurs in both initiation and propagation. We know that the initiation step will be Cl, Cl undergo homolytic fission, right? So this is what you get. So this homolytic fission. Okay, in the second, uh, in the propagation step, actually homolytic fission also takes place. Say for example, um, C10H20, right? So uh, one part of it is like, maybe I just draw this part, okay? So in fact, how do you get uh, this product? Okay, in fact, in fact, homolytic fission takes place. So this, okay, it works this way. So you can see that this is actually homolytic fission, right? So you actually end up getting RC dot, okay? Um, yeah, so I, I'm just, this is just an example. Actually, it's like there's a H and H over here. So RCH2 dot, right? This is a uh, plus HCl. Okay. So this part here is actually homolytic fission. Homolytic fission is taking place over here. So this statement is actually correct. Okay. Um, this is the tricky part. The ratio of the primary to secondary to tertiary chloroalkanes has this ratio. Okay. So I'm just gonna show you what it means. Okay. So if I have imagined there's two H's over here. All right. So this is a secondary hydrogen. This is a secondary hydrogen. So if I replace this secondary hydrogen with a Cl, this becomes a secondary halogen alkane because this carbon has one R group and an R group. So this is a secondary halogen alkane. All right. So if I replace this hydrogen, this over here, this hydrogen is called primary hydrogen. If I replace this hydrogen with a Cl, this becomes a primary halogen okay all right because this carbon has only one r group yeah okay but if i replace this hydrogen with a cl this becomes a tertiary halogen okay all right so imagine this is a cl now can you see that okay so we're going to look at the primary secondary and tertiary chloride alkanes all right and see whether um we get the ratio of three to six is to two so what you need to do is you have to remove, uh, substitute the hydrogen with a Cl. Okay, so for primary, let's, I'm going to label all the primary. So primary, actually, I have uh, two hydrogen here. I'm oh, sorry, uh, primary. Yeah. Primary, the, the, this part, only these two will give you a primary halogen alkane. Any of the H's from here 
or any of the H's from here will, can be substituted to give you a primary halogen alkane. So the number is six. So for uh, secondary, there are actually many, right? There are actually really many. So this part, does the hydrogen are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, right? So actually it's twelve over here. So any of these hydrogen can be substituted with a Cl to give you a secondary halogen alkane. All right. Okay, the last part, the tertiary, the tertiary, right, is actually the hydrogen over here that can be replaced with a Cl or the hydrogen over here that can be replaced with a Cl to give you a tertiary halogen alkane. And the value here should be 2. So if you look at it, uh, the, the simplest ratio would be 3 is to 6 is to 2, right? It would be 3 is to 6 is to, not 2, uh, 3 is to 6 is to 1. Okay, but this is 3 is to 6 is 2, so this is actually incorrect. So the answer is D. Alright, so that's uh, how we do it.